Hi, this is Kevin. And this is Patty. And I'm Gina, Trish. Hi, right, today we're going to talk a little bit about art on the farm. We had our barn painted a wonderful mural thanks to Gina. So here's our milk house uh, on the main street and this is what it looked like when we bought it back in 2006 and we need a lot of work inside and out. These are uh, our family members, nephews and children and cousins and mother-in-laws, everybody painting it. Um, we had help from, like I said, my mother-in-law and my husband, my um, brother-in-law and his company fixing the roof and painting and we fixed it all up and then we decided that uh, we could use a little bit more. It was missing something. We decided to paint our logo on the side of the barn and who better but Gina Trish. <laughs> so we, we scratched it out on a piece of paper what we were thinking and we, and we asked Gina to come on over and to put it up on the side of the barn. The, yep, there I am with the with the, uh, with the level that helped me get that all gridded out to, to scale. So I found some of Gina's pictures on her Facebook site and threw them into the video because I said, hey, look, this woman can paint flowers. Why, why not paint the side of our barn? Flowers are great. <laughs> flowers, flowers are good. They're a good thing. <laughs> and, yep, those are some of my drawings from about five to ten years ago. And uh, here I am uh, getting up and getting ready to put the grid um, on the barn and, and get it ready for uh, preparation for their logo. I wanted to get all the lettering and everything to scale. So you, you think the hardest part of the mural so far has been Patty's nose? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Faces are always difficult. Uh, everything got uh, first sketched out with an oil crayon so that I made sure it was all correct before I put any paint on the barn. And there's a bunch of my uh, my tools, my brushes, um, my, my acrylics and whatnot um, that I've used. This is what was the most impressive thing for me is that how Gina had such the ultimate steady hand. And Gina got to sit on the luggable loo. Um, we gave her the best accommodations while she was here. Yes, they took very good care of me. Um, here I am putting a little highlight on, on the word flowers. We decided after um, we had the logo on there to uh, freehand some of the lettering and, and add some, some clematis in there um, with, with vines. Um, and that was the inspiration on their farm, the beautiful clematis that Patty grows. Yeah, it, uh, it was amazing to see it all uh, come into focus. Uh, the logo uh, was all done freehand and then um, Here's the time lapse of what it looked like over several days. I was pretty happy to document the uh, the, the progress over over several days, just to see what it looked like when it was all said and done. Sometimes it's a little work doing the documentation, but in the end, you're, you're really glad you took the time to uh, capture a real moment in time. Here we are, it's a finished product, uh, about to take the scaffolding down. We had to get our final shot together. Mm -hmm. Felt good to be finished, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. It was a lot nicer that day, too. Yeah, <laughs> it was. Cool. A great yeah, collaboration. Yeah, yeah, good people to work for, for sure. And there is the final product. So thank you, Gina Trish, for a wonderful job and making a little piece of artwork come to Blairstown. You're welcome, it was my pleasure.